Hey Sagittarius. This is going to be a bonus read for Sagittarius. Um, and for those who have Sagittarius anywhere in their natal chart, of course, watchers, you are welcome here. And keep in mind that energy is fluid. The roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. But never force a reading. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid, guys. So never force it, okay? So let's get into it. Show me the messages for Sagittarius. This is going to be a love reading. Time is fluid. Anytime you press play in the video is the time for you to receive the messages. Show me the messages, please, for Sagittarius. Show me the messages for Sag. Okay, so um, I'm getting the Eight of Wands reversed, the Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. I feel like this energy of two people that are, in fact, together, there is a partnership here that I'm looking at, okay? You may even be potential soulmates, you know, there's a lot of love here. There's a partnership and there is love. For some of you, you're even married to this person. Um, some of you are engaged to this person. Okay? But some of you just just in love. This is a high quality relationship of love. Okay? But I do feel right now there's some sort of challenge here. Somebody in this situation right now feels stuck. They feel backed into a corner about something. They feel a lot of pressure about something. And it's like there's something that they need to act on with the Eight of Wands reversed, but they're not. Because this Eight of Wands reversed is crowning this Eight of Swords. This is like, you know, if you act on this, this will be beneficial. But they're, they're feeling stuck. And this kind of stuck is mental entrapment. Feeling like you're in a situation you can't get out of, but you can. You just have to act on it and you're not willing to. Okay. Um, I have the Queen of wands here this is someone who's very nurturing this is someone who can manifest the abundance so it's like spirit is saying you can manifest whatever it is that you want you're very nurturing you're very responsible and i feel like you don't see that right now with the two of wands i feel like you're just trying to make a decision you're just waiting feeling detached about something <sighs> show me more for the situation yeah, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you're just not putting in the work to make something happen, to make something come into fruition. What is this? Tell me more. Page of Swords reverse. I feel like the situation involves an ex. Because I got the page of swords reversed. I feel like someone who was very selfish, more so cared about their caring about their own feelings, caused you a lot of problems. I feel like this is the person that's in your energy that's keeping you stuck. This is someone who's spying on you. And with this two of cups here, I feel like you're in a new relationship, but you have this ex that's spying on you, trying to cause problems. Yeah, I got the temperaments reverse. That's that's Sagittarius energy. That's your energy. But there's just someone who's just very reckless here. Just doing too much. They don't they're, they're not respecting any any boundaries. Wow. Two four of cups, I feel like someone here. I feel like you're trying to let go of the regret, but there's like a focus on the negative with this situation. This is somebody from your past. I'm getting that with the Four of Cups. I'm getting nostalgia. I'm getting a lot of frustration. I feel like this is like wearing down on you and you just feel stuck in this situation. This could also be your person. 
feeling that way, having a lot of regret because there was a missed opportunity between the two of you. They caused the dissolution of this relationship and they're just frustrated at thinking about you. This is a person that's spying on you. I'm getting more of that energy. Show me the breakdown in this connection with this ex. What is the breakdown of this? Show me more. Show me the breakdown here. Wow. You were seriously involved with this person in your past. Okay. With this four of wands. Because I have the four of wands, the tower, the nine of cups, and the fool. I'm getting Aquarius energy. I'm getting Aries energy here. Yeah, you were really, um, this was, you and this person was really happy together at one time. I'm getting like happily family. Like you, you guys were, you know, building together. You know, you, you were working together, coming together. Um, I feel like you, you two were in a serious relationship. Some of you lived with this person. Okay. Um, but something happened. It was a tower moment here. That brought this connection to his knees. And from there, I'm getting like, you, you know, there was someone else. You manifested someone else with his nine of cups. And you took a leap of faith with somebody new. But we're going to pull on this tower to find out what happened. What was this? Hmm. Queen of cups. Hmm. You really, you really care deeply for this person. There was a lot of emotions and a lot of love for this person, and they destroyed it. Show me why. Let's pull on this tower, please. Yeah, you were super happy with this person. For some of you, you were you were married to this person. This was an ex that you were married to. For others, it was just a higher level commitment. But it was, it was it. You thought that you was gonna be with this person forever. Okay, this is long term. This is higher level. You felt like you two shared the same values. Look, you're very open with this person. There's so much happiness here. So much happiness here. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I got the sun, the ten of cups, and the hierophant. You were feeling really good about this relationship. Some of you might have a child or children with this person. That's that's kind of spying on you and lingering around and causing problems okay and there's a queen of wands reverse here i knew that if i kept pulling the spirit would tell me that what happened there was someone here this person was involved with someone else with the queen of wands reverse okay someone sexually so i'm getting the energy of, of that they cheated on you okay and at the bottom of the deck i have the death reverse so i'm getting the energy of somebody who just wasn't willing to change they were stuck in their ways and their cheating ways. There was there was definitely a third party situation here. And before this came out, you guys was insanely happy. This was it. This was the wish fulfillment. So this person thought. So you thought. But then this tower destroyed everything. Show, show me this ex's feelings. Too early. Hold on. No. Sorry. Sorry, guys. No. Show me this ex's feelings. What's this ex's feelings for Sagittarius? Kids be thinking they're so slick, yo. Coming up in here for some snacks while I'm doing my reading. Show me this person's feelings towards you. What is this excess feelings that, you, that you're that you stressing about? Because I get this energy, Sagittarius, that you're concerned that this person is just going to show up at your door in your new relationship. Like, I feel like this person has threatened to, you know, interfere with this and saying that, you know, you belong with them and just, just not respecting your boundaries, just popping up when they want to. For, for those of you who have a child or children with this person, I feel like this person uses the children or the child to, to just pop up on you or just show up in places where you frequent just not respecting. So I have the Knight of Swords, the King of Wands reversed, and the Four of Swords. This person is stressed and this they're overwhelmed with anxiety. The Seven of Cups is here. 
they're just 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 contemplating like this wishful thankful i'm getting hallucinating <laughs> this person with you they're thinking of being with you there's an illusion of being with you again there's this wishful thinking energy at the bottom of the deck but with the knight of swords this person is like just in and out this person has ghosted you they they don't hold themselves accountable this is a player this king of wands person is like they can't be trusted they're just like the queen of wands that they betrayed you with they cannot be tr trusted this person's main focus is with themselves they think about themselves but it's like now that you're with someone else they're like i need to come in they want they're, they're contemplating it like coming in rushing in and like this cockiness of just getting whatever it is they want from you like they this is a person that thinks they always get what they want they always get their way with you okay wow show me Sagittarius feelings for this person what is Sagittarius' feelings wow wow death you ain't never lie You're trying to just strip this person away from out of your life, okay? This you could be connected with the Scorpio and Aquarius. I have the Death, the Six of Pentacles, and the Full Reverse. It's just like you're trying to purge this person out of your life. Like you, like you want them out. You're like, and I get with this person when it ended. It was sudden. I'm, I got that with the with the um, Tower card, and I'm getting with the Death card that it was some sort of sudden, unexpected upheaval. Like when you found out about this person, and you know, and them betraying you with someone else and you're just trying to like you're trying to cleanse your way you're like you're ending this you're transitioning out of it you're out of it you're gone you're going through the death you're going through the death of this relationship you have this new beginning here with someone who values you with the six of pentacles and you're just like but your concern is this full reverse this person's impulsiveness this person's poor judgments like you you're very you're, you're afraid of the unknown like what is this person going to try to do next with the six of wands reverse i get this energy of feeling at a disadvantage because you don't know what this person is going to do next like this is a losing battle with this person lurking in the background and you and you feel disgraced by this person by the way the six of wands reverse is about disgrace because of the way this, this person that some of you this person that they cheated with was somebody that you knew somebody you thought of as a friend or family member so you're like you're disgusted by this person and you feel like oh this person is you don't know what's going to happen next with this person meanwhile you're in this sharing loving connection with this two of cups like you are in love make no mistakes you you're with somebody who mutually respects you it's everything that you thought you had with this other person show me sagittarius his challenges regarding this ex What is Sagittarius's challenges, please, regarding this ex? I call this an advice reading, but it's pretty much the same as the regular readings. I got the Magician reversed. Your challenge is to focus on yourself and just setting goals for yourself and focusing on that, okay? Because this person from your past, they're not learning from their mistakes. They haven't learned. Gemini energy. Okay, I have the Gemini, I have the um, Magician magician Reverse and the Page of Pentacles as your challenges. And Spirit is like, just focus on the little things. Focus on your goals. Okay? Um, with the Empress Reverse, I do feel this, you know, this insecurity here, though. There's a lack of confidence as far as the situation. This person is very overbearing with you. And, you know, there's this there's this concern of feel, just feeling insecure, not feeling like yourself because of this person in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some advice for you, Sagittarius. Show me advice, please, for Sagittarius in regards to the situation involving this ex. Wow. Show me more for advice, please, for Sag. I 
I do feel strongly that some of you have a child or children with this person for sure, with this Six of Cups here. Six of Cups is, is about reunions as well. It's about nostalgia, the good times. And I feel like you do think about these things, Sagittarius. Think about the good times you have with this person. You know, for some of you who have a child or children with them or you grew up with this person from your past, there's a lot of memories there. But you, this person is also very childish and immature. So this is two downloaded messages I'm getting. Some of you have a child or children with this person, or you. some of you have just been with this person in the past for a long time before they destroyed everything in, 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 an, instant, in an instant, okay? Um, and it was very heartbreaking, this betrayal. I feel like you still reminisce, you still, there's still some remnants of this heartache because this person still has some sort of access to you. They still pop up. Every time that you, they send you a message, you block them, they find another way to contact you. And it's like, you're, you're trying to re remove yourself from this completely. But it's heartbreaking that this person keeps appearing and not respecting the boundaries. Okay. And, you know, spirit wants you to like, release this. This Ten of Wands reverse is about something that was burdening you. And it's time for you to, to to release this person. This is someone who wants to excessively control your life. Like this is somebody that's very possessive. I'm also getting some narcissistic traits from this person. Okay. They're trying to come back and, 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 to, and control the situation that they destroyed. Not realizing that you have moved on and you're happy with someone else. Not not realizing, not accepting that you have moved on with someone else. And I got this two of swords at the bottom of the deck. And I just feel like you feel like you're on the fence about this. You feel at a crossroads. Like, what do I do? Because this person is not allowing me to be fully happy as I need to be and want to be with my person. Okay. So I'm going to ask the cards, how does your person, your new person, the love that you are with, the person that gives you the mutual respect, how do they feel about this? What are their feelings? Spirit, show me. Wow. They know, obviously they know everything there is to know about this situation. I got the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Emperor reverse, and the Judgment. Okay. I'm getting Capricorn energy. I'm getting Aries energy and Libra. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords, okay? So clearly this person knows. You know, this is someone who, you know, who cheated on you. They betrayed you. This person knows that. Um, and they feel like this person just lacks control, lacks discipline, okay? And for some of you, you definitely have a child or children with this person. Because your partner is like, the per you're not, this person is not even being a part of their kid or ch child or children's life. They're trying to use them to come around, but they're being an absentee father. They're not really being there, being what they're supposed to be because of this whole situation. And there's just big, this is big disruption with this person, okay? The, it's very clear with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, that's about external forces, something on the outside disrupting the connection. And this is this is de definitely taxing. Your, your person can feel it to you because this is somebody that betrayed you. Your person just feels like this person needs to really look at their own behavior see what they're doing, see the problems that they're causing. They just do what they want to impulsively and without thinking about the consequences. And your person that you're with and that you're in love with is saying, this ex needs to really look at what they're doing, all the problems that they're causing because of their deceptive behavior and acting out, you know? And it, it, your person just feels like this person's out of control. Show me more for your person's feelings. The one that you're in a relationship with now. Show me more, please. They feel like this person, their ex just has a lot of self-esteem issues, okay? But with the five of cups at the uh, reverse at the bottom of the deck, they feel like it's just time for you two to keep healing and you, you to keep healing and just moving forward from this situation, okay? Yeah. I got the Six of Wands reversed again. They recognize that you feel 
like this is a losing battle with this person. But your yeah, person's like, no, you're the queen of swords. Now's the time for to stand up for yourself and be clear about your wants and needs to this person. So your person feels like you don't put enough personal boundaries. You're not setting up these boundaries. This person has way more access to you than they should. There should be some structure there. So your person does want you to look at that, come together, look at that, and realize that, yo, you need to set some boundaries with this person. And if this is your situation, then you know that your person came to you and told you this. Like, you know, it's frustrating for them. It's frustrating for them. It was like, you know, it's time to put in the work, you know? It's, we, we, you two have to come together and come up with a better way. Like, boundaries have to be set here. Even if you have to do it legally with the judgment here, your person's like, this needs to be handled. Like, this situation can't keep happening. All right, so show me advice. What is advice that we have for Sagittarius in this situation? Okay, I have the Three of Cups. This person loves you, so they have your back and everything. But they're like, babe, you need to, like, set some boundaries. This person just thinks that they, you know, this person may have a key still to your place or some shit for some of you. I heard keys and your person's like, why the hell does this person still has a key? Like, why? Do, and then the person's saying, well, you know, I can have my key. I have my child here, you know, and then you're like, no, your person's like, hell no. Okay. So I had the three of cups, the eight of cups reverse and the devil reverse here. Um, A lot of water energy. Could be connecting with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces and or Capricorn is here as well. At the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles is here as well. This, this is the time for you because I know you're feeling at the end of your rope and it's just feeling really unstable because of this, this person that doesn't know boundaries, that's causing all these problems, this ex. But it's time for you to get out of, you know, remove these chains, release yourself from this stuck energy this instability from this person, okay? Because that's what I feel like you're trying to do and Spirit's telling you just release yourself from this toxicity because there is a stuck energy that you're still in. And the reason why is because there's someone here with Eight of Cups Reverse that keeps returning, that keeps causing problems. But, you know, you're supposed to be celebrating this love that you're in and being in happiness with this new person, okay? This is someone who's giving you security, stability, there's abundance here. You guys are manifesting even more. Okay? You did so much here to look forward to with this person. And this 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 ex is interfering with that. And so Spirit is like, you know, this this codependent person, this 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 is unstable. There's a need for you to get control of the situation and focus on you and your, your person and, and getting out again and celebrating and just loving on each other with this three of cups. Okay? Show me more for advice, please. Yeah, I got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is like a rock bottom situation, okay? This person is just, and meanwhile, this person is causing you with the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so much anxiety still, so much stress, having trouble sleeping at night comfortably because of this person you're not even with anymore. There's no recovering from what this person did for you, meaning there's no going back to them. That's what I really mean. I shouldn't say recovering, but the Ten of Swords, there's no, you know, going back to this person and what they did to you. This person's very hasty, okay? But you have a King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's very mature and very grounded and here to help you. Someone who's, you know, see, who steps in to help you better yourself. They bring out the best in you. You two together bring out the best in each other. And Spirit is like... You know, there's time for you to set some boundaries between you and this ex, okay? Queen of Swords, now is the time for you to stand up for yourself. Again, stand up for yourself. You know, set these boundaries. Be clear about your what you want and need out of this situation and what you need this person to not do, okay? Because that's what you're going to have to do. Instead of letting this happen, you have to, you know, make things happen. Put your foot down. Put your foot on this person's neck. Whatever you need to do, if there's something legal that needs to be handled, handle it. Handle it. Handle it. Because you can't just keep letting this happen. You don't want this interference, okay? 
with this two of cups, with this happiness, with this mutual respect, with this love. At the with the at the bottom of the deck, I got the three of wands. It's trying for you to move forward in confidence. Okay. Set your boundaries against this person. All right. So anyway, those are the messages that I have for you, Sagittarius, for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you this healing love. I wish you light. Before I close this out, for those of you who have a child or children with this person, you may want to seek legal advice as to setting boundaries so this person doesn't just think they could pop in and out, pop up on y'all and whenever they want to, okay? So again, those are the messages I have for you. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you healing, love, and light, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.